guys and in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can get custom wind views like this in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. First thing you're going to want to do is you want to head towards the folder with your desired aircraft that you want to set cameras to. So I'm going to be doing the A320 in this demonstration. So I have downloaded my the mod, a mod into the community folder. So if you wanted to do the 747 you could go into the official steam and then find the 747 in like this way but in this case I'm just going to do the A320 so what we're going to do is press this go to sim objects aircrafts neo you're going to want to go to the camera CFG and now this is quite important what you want to do here is you want to make sure that you take away this value here I'm highlighting take 40 away from it away the 4 leave it at 4 point uh, th sorry, 3.7. Before you go back into the game, you're going to want to make sure that you press this, but you want to save it. Make sure you save it, that's really important. Now we're going to want to go back into our game, and I'll tell you what to do from there. So now that we're in the main menu, we're going to want to go and set our keybinds for saving the camera views. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to head to Options, Controls, and what we're going to do is go to Keyboards, type in Save, and we're going to make sure we're in cockpit so what I've done is for 0 to 9 I've made it so that you have to press alt num 0 for saving camera position 0 and I've done that for everyone this basically means is that if we were to try and set a camera we would press the corresponding one that we wanted so let's just say 0 we wanted a cockpit camera we could press alt num 0 and that would be now set which means that has been saved for that specific number next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to find type in load and this is basically what button you press to load that saved camera view so as for zero I press alt number num zero to save it and if I want to load it I just press num zero so that's what I would recommend you to do so now I'm going to go into my simulator into my every 20 and show you how we're going to set the camera so what should happen now is you should be at this position on your aircraft and you'll find that you can actually move about the airplane so what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the position you want your camera to be so let's just say I wanted to set a camera here I press uh, alt and num so I don't know num 4 so I press alt num 4 now that it's set, so if I press num4, I can it then takes me to that camera, and you can do that with everyone as many as you want. So I'm gonna actually set my cameras here, and you can copy my cameras or use my cameras. So I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set one about here. So let's say here, make that my first one. Now if I press that press that it should take me back to that position I want one here oh two one there that another one maybe another one here as well set and we're gonna set one more here and uh, finally I'm going to just set one more in the cockpit so I'm gonna make that my zero option so alt zero to save it and there we go so now that we've done all of them this is what they look like so so I've got zero here I've got one two three four five six seven eight and nine I've set so yeah that's it a very quick side note is that when you quit the game you're going to want to make sure you go back into that camera.cfg folder that I was at the start of the video and put it back to what it was before so it was at 43 um, that's really important or it won't work so guys that is how you set custom camera views in Microsoft Flight Simulator if you are new please make sure you go down and subscribe like the video 
and leave a comment if you have any difficulties in doing this or you want to leave a suggestion of any place you want me to land or video idea. Uh, once again, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.